Okay, so we're going to move on now, we're going to move away from circles for the moment, to talk about volumes, looking at the volumes of things. Now, we're going to look at things that are round when we come to volume things, but basically there's, there's lots of different things we need to work at the volumes for. The easiest thing, okay, is a cuboid. So a cuboid is just a cube, is a very good example of a cuboid. Okay, so a cube, all, all the sides of a cube are the same. So let's say the height here is five centimeters. Then we know this therefore is five centimeters and this is five centimeters. So what's the volume of this cube gonna be? Well I just do base times width times height. This is for a cuboid, any cuboid. It wouldn't matter if it was a sort of rectangular cuboid or a square. It's a very poor attempt to draw a rectangle. Okay, it wouldn't matter which one. It's just the base times width times the height. So in this case, all the same. So it'd be five times five times five, which would give us one hundred and twenty-five centimeters cubed. Volumes are always cubed when we're talking units. Always cubed. Okay. Something quickly to think about while we're talking about volumes and areas is how many centimetres squared there are in a metre squared and a metre cubed. A lot of people think there's a hundred centimetres in a metre, so maybe there'd be a thousand in a metre squared. No, let's look at it. We've got a metre squared. Okay, we've got one metre on the side and one metre at the top. Okay, so it's a metre squared because it's that side times that side equals one metre squared. In centimetres, this would be a hundred centimetres times a hundred centimetres. So we're actually get a hundred times by a hundred, which that you can see is ten thousand centimetres squared. So, if you're going to tile the floor in your house, I wouldn't use one centimetre squared tiles to do it, because you're going to need 10,000 of them just to cover a metre squared of floor. Okay, what about a metre cubed? Well, let me turn this into a cube. We're going to have another metre, aren't we? Deep now. So we're going to have one metre times one metre times one metre. Is our one metre cubed. In centimetres, again, it's going to be a hundred times a hundred times a hundred. So in this case, it's going to be ten thousand times a hundred, so we're going to have to have two more zeros on. So we've got ten thousand. Add two zeros on. What does that give us? It gives us a million centimetres cubed. So in one metre cubed, there is a million centimetres cubed. Okay, that's just something to bear in mind. It has come up in exams before. And it's just interesting to remember when you're going to be in Q and you're buying tiles for your floor. Don't buy centimetres squared ones. Okay, so volumes in general. As we saw with the cuboid, you've got to have three lengths times together to get a volume. So, prisms are something we are all always interested in. So a prism is basically something that has an end that might be a square and it's then got a depth. So that would be called a square based prism. And the way we work out the volume of it is we work out the surface area of the top. So in this case it's going to be 
times 4, the surface area of the area of the top, the area of the end basically, which in this case is going to be 4 times 4, which is going to be 16, times by the height. Okay? Which in this case, I don't know, I'm going to call it 100. So we're going to get 16 times 100 equals. 1,600 or 1,600 no, let's call it what it is, centimetres cubed ok, let's get a few different types of prism you could have a triangular based prism so you can have a prism with a triangle at the end ok, you can have that now just all it is, just work out the area of the triangle. So if I know the height of the prism is five centimeters, and I know the width of the bottom is four centimeters, I just got my area of a triangle. So half base times height, remember. So it's just gonna be a half, four times five, which is ten, because four times five is twenty, half of that's ten. So that's gonna be ten centimeters, and the length here is 20 centimetres. So I'm just going to have 10 times by 20, which is 200 centimetres cubed. And that's going to be that one. It's that simple. So there'll be some of those in the questions for you to practice. And then there's just a few other things we've got to be able to work out the volume of. A sphere. Now, a sphere is a pretty difficult thing to draw, but I'm going to do it by doing like that. So you can see that's the little bit back of the sphere. Basically a ball. How do I work out the area of a ball? Well, you're just going to have to remember the equation. So the volume, sorry, of a sphere equals four thirds pi cubed. So 4 thirds times pi times the radius cubed. The surface area of a sphere is just 4 pi r squared. Just 4 times pi r squared will give you the surface area of a sphere. Okay, something else with a with a uh, circle at the bottom. If I do a circular prism, it's going to be easy, you'd know that one already. What about a cone? Okay, so it's obviously it goes round all the way up. It's, it's, a, it's a cone. Like an ice cream cone, like a cornetto cone. What is the volume of that going to be? So the volume of a cone is just going to equal one third pi r squared, there's always going to be pi r squared from that, times by the height, so the height of the cone. Okay, so a third pi r squared times by the height. What about the surface area? Well, we know there's going to be one term for pi r squared in the bottom. So we're going to know it's going to equal pi r squared plus something. So we've got a pi r squared in the bo bottom. And it's pi r squared plus pi r l. So pi times the radius times the length. It's that straightforward. That is the surface area of a cone, and the volume of a cone. And that's pretty much it for, for volumes. Most of it's going to be problem solving sort of stuff you need to do. So I'm going to put a load of questions in, have a go at them, see how you get on, and we'll then move on to some geometry.